Good morning, YouTube. Tanya Zapkina, your helpful analytics advisor here, and this video is about Amazon Comprehend Medical. This is part one of a series of videos that I'm doing to help you get rid of some of the headaches associated with setting up and using the system. Comprehend Medical is an artificial intelligence service offered by AWS, and what it is, it's a series of natural language processing models that help transform unstructured text like a medical text into a structured format, which is a table. So it extracts important information out of medical text, such as patient data, diagnosis, treatments, drug names, and puts it into table format for further analysis. In this video, I'm going to do a demo of Comprehend Medical and then go over pricing and data requirements. Let's dive in. So you have logged on into your AWS Management Console from which you need to go to Amazon Comprehend. And you can either go through the Services tab up here on top or All Services tab in here. And Amazon Comprehend is going to be under Machine Learning group of things. So we'll click on Amazon Comprehend, and from here we click on Launch Amazon Comprehend Medical. And what we see here is a sample. So this is kind of doctor notes that have been analyzed using Amazon Comprehend. So this is the example. I'm going to use my own example, and that is an 83-year-old patient that had a complication that followed an anti-cancer therapy. So we're going to put it in here. We're going to click Analyze. So 83-year-old patient, the age is uh, determined correctly. Erosions it is the diagnosis, the blister is the diagnosis, and it refers to the gingival mucous membrane, which is the system organ or site. Now, both of those diagnoses refer to that organ. However, only the last one was determined by Amazon Comprehend as the relationship. So there's some rough spots in here. Well, interestingly enough, Comprehend thinks that our patient is dead because there is a diagnosis of death in here. However, this actually is a therapy that impacts a program cell death found melanoma as a diagnosis of time of therapy. Um, it did find doxycycline as the name of the drug used in it. This is how real-time analysis works. You copy your text here, you click Analyze, and it can produce three types of analysis for you. It can look into entities, Rx norm concepts, which is drug names, and ICD-10 concept, which is the diagnosis and symptoms. And in the ontology or concepts API, it will link it to the standardized names and codes associated with these concepts. Here in the bottom part, there's a table of things that are going on in here. And there's also the output in JSON format of the analysis. So you can take this output and use it in your own systems. Now let's go and try the Rx norm concepts, which is very valuable because not only it finds the drug name in the text, but it also suggests you kind of the inferred concepts, which are standardized names and the codes associated with them. Now the next one is ICD-10, which is the symptoms and the diagnosis. It will find the, the organ names and the diagnosis in here, and then find the concepts associated gastrojejunal ulcers, um, so erosions. So we have the, the blisters of the oral cavity is one of them. So a lot of those diagnosis codes are in here. And the entities are also exported as a JSON. So this was a demonstration of the real-time capabilities. And in the next video, I'm going to walk you through the process of scheduling analysis jobs. And the difference between analysis jobs and real-time analysis is that analysis job gets its data from the S3 storage, which is kind of job box for AWS. And then it stores the result back into an S3 bucket. 
So you wonder how much the service cost, and it can be very confusing. I'm going to put a link in the description. Please refer to it because prices have been changing. So as of June 2021, we have one unit of Comprehend Medical is 100 characters. And in a typical 10,000 character text, which is about 1,500 words, you're going to pay for the name, entity, and relationship detection, $1. For protected health information, $0.14. Cents. Medical ICD-10CM is $0.05, cents, and Rx norm is $0.25 cents per this text size. As you can see, the ontologies are less expensive, a lot less expensive than the named entities in relationship recognition API. And ontologies are more practical for things like billing. However, none of the other APIs can recognize test and test results. So if you want to do test and test results, unfortunately, you have to do the name entities. And that is the more expensive type of analysis. If you have free tier AWS, you can analyze 25,000 units for free, and that amounts to 250 documents of 10,000 character size. And you have to analyze it within three months of first using Comprehend Medical. Now, why did I choose this text size of 10,000 characters? It's because this is a limit on the size of a document to be analyzed by both ontologies, the Rx norm and ICD-10. And that means that in many cases, you would have to split your files into 10,000 character chunks. Amazon itself recommends that you use segments package, Python package, for that type of processing. Another thing to remember is that you have to remove break lines within your sentences. So Comprehend Medical is sensitive to break lines within a sentence. It considers a break line a, an equivalent of a period. Now, it's great to analyze one or two sample texts, but what do you do if you have thousands of them? Then you have to schedule an analytical job. And this is what my next video is about. It will help you set up the account correctly, get all of the permissions, and start rolling with scheduling the jobs.